going on? Welcome back to the Seeking 14 build. Uh, I really do apologise for the uh, the lack of uh, updates. It's been a while. I remember in my first video that I looked at this and thought, like, yeah, I'll do this in two weeks. <sighs> no, never going to happen. Anyway, so while I have been quiet and on the down low, I've been uh, buying some parts, uh, which I will show you straight through right now. Right, so here we are. Um... First things first, uh, one of the things I ordered was the uh, the resin, it was marine resin, which is a polyester resin in styrene. Uh, I think it was a 10 kg and 100 mil of catalyst. Um, so that was, to be fair, that's a start. I'm probably gonna need some more than that uh, to get through this, because I know it's gonna end up more than it was. It's, um, we ended up getting some very fine um, fiberglass matting for the over the top and then we ended up getting some I think it was 240 G stranded cut strand uh, fiberglass uh, uh, matting on there as well so that's to basically do the wheelhouse and some other fiberglass repairs uh, another thing that I needed to do was to um, get a new drain plug for the back of the um the boat because there's currently one in the middle of the boat and this is a stainless steel i think it's stainless steel but it kind of looks a bit cast from the rear so it's most probably got stainless steel metals in there with, with some sort of a cast alley in there i don't know maybe um we have some epoxy filler so that's for the hull that um all the cracks which i explained previously and moving along i thought right you know switches Everyone does boring switches, and on Amazon I found a touch uh, panel. So they're not actually switches; they're touch panels, and you get a little control box there. You obviously get six channels, um, some instructions, nice back in play. Um, I don't know what's in here. Uh, oh, wires to, to go onto the back of the control box. And then you get some like VGA cable to, to do that. But also, which I thought was quite handy, is in the bag of stickers um, and other things, you get stuff like this. So, with it being very boat orientated straight away you've got anchor light cabin lights cockpit lights compass lights fan kitchen all that sort of stuff radar so the, these are all quite nicely textured um, and they will all light up blue in the background of that so and i think that if i remember rightly was like 38 quid which i don't think was too bad at all uh, so this is all going to be in the dash panel of the of the thingy, and then we ended up getting some sort of just like uh, USB charge points um, and a cigarette lighter. I don't smoke, not anymore. So, but you know, you never know whether it's USB or you've got an old style cigarette light uh, plug for that. We have some um, some tie ups. Uh, to be fair I bought these thinking they were going to be a bit bigger and they're a bit plasticky and crap I'll probably replace them for something a little bit better um, and then we ended up going to get a oh, oh, that's gone wrong but this is a little voltmeter um, now it just it's got like a little green uh, I think it's green around here and it's obviously red if it gets around there but it, you know it's got a little backing plate it sits within with a little collar that sits on the back and that will look nice against this like this kind of a matching thing and then obviously if you could just imagine switch panels and then that in there like so it's gonna look pretty snazzy but considering it was nothing there before um, as we said before we were gonna try and uh, put all the provisions so that this boat is a seaworthy boat so we have navigation lights LED nice and brand new there and then uh, like I mentioned last time round we had a U UHF radio sorry a VHF radio um, and like I said before 
hopefully we would never need that button there because that means things are going wrong and you need to be saved by the coast guard or something like that so one of the first jobs is to uh, find a home for this so i didn't i was going to get a wheelie bin but um i've decided to try and modify this i got some hardwood given to me from ben from evolution timber thank you ben and uh, we've just sort of hashed it together um, to see if it will it will stand up. Hopefully it works. If not, then uh, God knows what I'm going to do. But yeah, just need a friend to pop over, which Sam's coming over in a minute, just to give me and get that off. I'm not going to lie. Sometimes you just need two people. Like... I think I'm going to do a nut. Is this <laughs> Jesus. Ooh, who's this? This is a completely bad idea. So, if you want to see, we have a jack. Probably be wearing steel toe caps for this. One in a return. Here she comes. Yeah, I didn't go to plan. Anyway, the damage is done now, but it's off. Just got to somehow try and get it onto that. So. Making all the noises. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Don't try that at home. Jesus. I broke that off. Please leave in the comments if that bit is important. Right, so there we have it. I've, um, I've got it on there. That was really heavy and yeah, probably not the way to do it. Should have waited for a mate. Um, but it is what it is. And we broke off that bit just there and I reckon, to be fair, we didn't take a chip out of the prop because it was already, looks corroded and knackered, so. But yeah, uh, I can move that now. Now, what my aim is, is uh, I'm gonna get in here and then I'm gonna jet wash everything out and then we're gonna start pulling some of the wheelhouse, get the window out, just crack on and keep mushing away with it. But now the engine's off, uh, we can get on. I've got to drill a hole in the back of the transom because uh, we've got a drain right in the middle of the hole and uh, we've got a bilge pump that's in the back with the, that should be in the back, it's got the pipe in there for it. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, get everything um, cleaned out and so it can drain out the back. have this um, stainless steel drain plug I think it was like eight pounds so we're gonna move that into the back 
So we're just gonna get um, the hole saw and we're just gonna come through here, get the, the, the drill bit on there and we're just gonna get the drill through the other side. Like that. So I've got a hole and then we're gonna bring it out and drill it through the other side. While jet washing this out, um, the, all the sides were uh, have been painted in emulsion, so all that has to go. Uh, found a a random hole in the hall, which is just there. You can just see it. It's got a bit of daylight out there, so it's just a bit strange, that. But yeah. Hole's got a hole there, and there's a massive rub out there, so the hole does need work. And I was told it didn't, which is a bit of a shame, really. Um, but I'm committed now. It is what it is, as they say. Just finished uh, jet washing, and <laughs> we're going to end up sanding the lot now. I don't know whether or not you can see this, but there seems to be a lot of chunks missing, whether that be out the gel coat or um, or the flow coat, I'm not sure, but there's a lot of work. All the woods around the edges need doing, which I knew was the case. The transom seems to be in fairly good nick. There's a few bits down here that needs to be done. But as you can see, I have jet washed it and I've been jet washing for hours and I just keep getting more and more and more off and just scooping the, the flaky paint off in there. But um, right now I need to crack on with uh, some of this uh, hoodie. So, hoodie, uh, hoodie, half cabin. Get this window out and then we're going to rip this front out, that's the next job. nice to get underneath that bit because now if we can probably get underneath it
there you have it. I've just got the front out and as you can see, it's a big pile of rotten wood. Um, now, there's still the old pillars in that side there and there's still an old board in there. As you can see, they put bolt, uh, bolts in a window, uh, proper nautical suppose. Um, but they didn't cut out that window, the same as this window, which is all the way to the end. So I'm unsure, I've got to take the edge of this out here because you can just see there's a line coming down here and that's of an add-on board to it before. So I think I'm just going to keep digging into it and see, see what's left of it by the end of it. <laughs> definitely should have eye protection on but like my dad always said to me do as I say don't do as I do I think could have been anyway Once again, thank you for watching uh, this episode of uh, My First Boat Project. And uh, please, if you like what you've seen, um, if it's any good at all, uh, please like, subscribe, share it. Um, I'm just doing this really just to have something to look back on and uh, something to do. It's uh, And it's definitely keeping me very occupied. So tune in next time. We'll see you soon. Peace!